Maze runner, maze runner, maze runner, maze runner, maze runner, maze runner, maze runner. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'll give you a couple, I'll give you a little bit. I will get, we'll slowly get closer and closer. And when you see it, you'll see it. You found it. You found it. You found it. E oh, come on. Come to me, Dylan O'Brien. This is the film we shall be watching today. Are you excited? I'm excited. Hey right guys, Trivman Joe here, and today we are doing something new. I've not done this before, we are going to be watching and reacting to a film. Uh, I've seen people do this before, there's even videos on YouTube of people reacting to films and they've been fine, but uh, this is specifically going to be for you Patreon, so if you're watching you are uh, $10 Patreon, um, which means the world. And I know a lot of people have, prob have had a problem with uh, that as well, like think I should make it for free on YouTube and stuff. The thing is, as of recording this right now, this is my main, this is kind of my job at this point, And I'm trying to think of new ideas and stuff uh, to like make, so I can still like, you know, do videos and actually be able to live in a place. So I do apologize that this is a $10 only thing for starters before we can get into my thoughts on Maze Runner. Um, but I don't know, it's kind of, I want it to be a bonus, it's not like a necessity because I'll always be doing TV show reactions uh, for free on YouTube and I know it sounds a bit weird like having to make you pay to see me react to a film, sounds odd, but uh, it's more to help support the channel um, and you get this as like a bonus for that and you still get the uncle reactions uh, while they're early as well and along with this $10 tier which I'll be adding in a few weeks when I move out of here because uh, that's in the final stages of me moving out of here. Uh, you'll be able to watch shows and films like this alongside with me live. Um, that'll be a $10 tier as well. So there are more rewards coming for like the $10 as well. Uh, and I'm sorry if it seems a bit excessive for that, but I hope you can understand that this is my main job now. Um, I still work at my other job, but I've cut it right down to only doing 12 hours a week from I was doing 25 around 25 hours uh 25 to 30 hours so i've cut that right down to 12 just to focus on youtube um so yeah this is exciting it's exciting it's also a bit scary that if this kind of doesn't work out i'll kind of have to go back and be like uh, can you boost up my contract again so yeah i really do hope you can understand but it is what it is and i know people are pissed about it on youtube that they can't get this um but i don't know this is a bonus for you guys for helping support the channel and keep it around and it really really means the world i wouldn't be able to do this without you guys so yeah as for the maze runner i have seen uh, i'll let you guys know already that i have seen this film and i've seen the scorch trials the second one um but not the death cure and i'm going to watch this one and then we'll eventually watch the second one and then when the third one is released i'll watch and react to that as well uh for, for the first time in a reaction so you can get my you know, fresh reaction for the third one at least, but I haven't seen this one or the second one since, when was this released? I think 2013, so since then I've only watched them both once, and it was both when they were released, uh, not at the cinema, but when they were released on Blu-ray. So it's been a long time, but I thought we'd start with the Maze one because Dylan O'Brien, of course, is the main reason, um, and because Team Wolf is such a big part of the channel. Um, I thought we'd, it will start with a fun film like this. And then I'll be doing film reactions i'm gonna aim i'm not not guaranteed but gonna aim for at least one every two weeks uh and hopefully eventually it will kind of fall into one every week but for now i'll just stick with uh one for every two weeks so yeah keep an eye out as well for you guys to you can vote which film you want me to react to i thought this would be the obvious choice for now so there wasn't a poll for this one uh but after this in a few days there will be a poll for the second film uh, so if you go ahead and vote when you see that, then you can let me know what film you want me to see. Uh, and yeah, always always be commenting on these videos as well as other uh, TV show reactions and those polls with films that you want me to see, even if it's not in the poll, uh, just so I know to add it into the, the poll after that kind of thing. Um, and we'll, stick, we'll do four in the poll and then we'll just add and replace them over time. So yeah, this is exciting and we'll see what kind of happens. Make sure you've got all your popcorn and food. I've got a yuzu. Uh, to keep me through this. I think this film is an hour and 50 minutes. We'll say hour 45 because of credits and shit. 
But yeah, I'm very, very excited for this because I haven't seen it in so long. It'd be cool seeing Dylan O'Brien and something different as well on the channel. Um, I did recently watch American Assassin uh, and he was great in that. So it'd be cool seeing him in this again. Yeah, so are you guys ready? I'm ready. Where, where's my one? Boom. <laughs> he looks kind of gone out there, don't he? He's like, what the fuck going on, dude? <laughs> oh, he looks... It doesn't even look like Dylan O'Brien there. But yeah, let's do this. Dylan! <laughs> oh, I forgot the actor's name who plays it. Fuck. I do know it, it's blank me. From Game of Thrones. Love action. <laughs> Why are you laughing at him? You meant to love him. Oh, his little chest hair. Yeah, chest hair is a young lad, didn't he? Can't say that because in American Assassin it was like so in your face, I had chest hair. Such a sick intro. That's like how you start a film. Look, I love shit like this. So cool. Oh, once a month. Always out all the other stuff that came up with it. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. I like this guy, I don't remember him though, does he die? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm doing no bright, he's going to do it once. I honestly can't remember what happens. I know, like, the main premise, obviously, that is, like, them trying to break out the maze. And that they go into the maze, but... So cool, I love how it's like, N never harm another one, slams him to the ground. He wasn't going to run it, was he? Uh, oh, does it change and shit, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, shit, so cool. That'd be breaking a second of the three rules that were so implemented in the first place. Was he gonna? Would, would he thought he would have run in? I don't know. Well, I guess he does let us know. Every morning. How'd you find your way back? Three years. Now we've got the builders. Break over their hands, but then not not going upstairs. And then we got Yeah, well I'm a builder. <laughs> yeah, we're done. And we've got two med jacks, Clint Jet. So then we they spend most of the time. What happens to all these people? <laughs> Don't hurt another person. Throws him to the ground and knocks him into another. Peer pressure, Dylan O'Brien, don't do it, just come here for cuddles. Hilarious, what? Ooh, the mud tactics. I like that. Damn. Oh, what? I remember my name. I'm Thomas. Thomas! <laughs> I'm gonna love it. Buy my head some more. <laughs> oh, they have woods as well. <laughs> Did I hear it? Styles there. <laughs> Did you not bury anyone? You just chucked them on the ground. Uh, what the fuck? Are you okay? 
Crack him. Run. Oh, he's fucking doing flip. <laughs> Get right. He's gonna die. Let's just say his name's gonna be crossed out on that wall. Yo, did they just send him off into the maze? That's brutal. Oh god. Dude, that's brutal. I could have watched that, but I like, no. Yeah, thanks for that. I'm sure he appreciates it. I get you can't keep him in there, but I'd kill him just because it's like. Oh no, sorry, you can't harm others. But you can push him into the maze. It's fine. Aww. The music. My name's Thomas! <laughs> Proper flips out. If music makes a film. I'm just going to put that out there. Music is key. That's a good shot. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't think he can. There's no way. It's not even close. Go, go! He squeezes for us, I swear. Oh, that guy was fucking sick. Oh, it's so... Oh! Oh, the whole... Oh, yeah. I hate it. I love it. Oh, let's see. Yo! Ready, ready. That was the most dick move ever. Oh my god. I had about that life. I can see him shaking, baby, no! <gasps> Oh, Tom. Oh, God. I don't know how no one survived the night. All you have to do is hide in a tree. Oh, uh, man. Oh, it's going to be like Shelob. Actually, yeah, it's like the same shot from Lord of the Rings. That is a rip-off shot. It actually is. Oh, my God. Nope! Oh, shit. Hey, actually swat, I'm so proud of him. Oh, shiggity shamany is what they'd usually say. <laughs> oh, he's got moves. Jump, you gotta jump onto the vines. The vines! Have you never played a video game? Run and jump! Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh. How does he get out of this one? Oh, okay, the, the, the thing's just stupid. How did you find him in the maze? <laughs> 
Oh, it's gonna get it's gonna get squished in like a wall. Go, Thomas! Oh, don't piss me off. Wait, what's this in? What? He's waiting for it. Go, man. I know what you're doing, but come on. Because you're going to give me a anxiety. Hey, now go, go. It's thinner when it's fixed. Um. Uh, if you want to sit on your arse all day, mate, be all for uh, Are we going to talk about the rules now? <laughs> no longer such a sausage fest, is it, boys? No more food. Thomas, <laughs> She really annoys me in this film, I seem to remember. Not going to lie. Avengers, assemble. Let's go. God, with his hold up, like he's not trying to be seen. Of course he is now. Don't yes. I'll stop crying, you little baby. I don't see his point. He wants to sit here and do nothing, even though you know there is no more food coming up in the lift. So, I don't... His logic is so stupid. Like, he has no right to sit there crying. He should be encouraging this shit. It doesn't affect him in any way if people die out there. So why? You can't go out there. <laughs> what a little baby. Yo! Just do it, man. Fair play. <laughs> it's your boy. <laughs> oh, you're not meant to be feeding the prisoner. What the Oh, he's so cute. Wasn't that much of a punishment, was it? Yeah, he's got to sit in this pit and go to sleep when everyone else is going to sleep anyway. Sad. I'll get you up dead early in the morning. Um, what does that mean? A lot of it, I am. What if you dropped it? Eh? What? Oh, what the hell? Go on, dude. What the hell? <laughs> that was it. Fuck that. No. What? <laughs> oh, if you grabbed onto one of them and it flung you up, then you could jump. No. What is going on? No. Oh, I hate it. Fuck. There could be a dozen grievers on the other side. The truth is, Thomas doesn't know what he's done as usual. At least I did something. Hey! I mean, what have you done, huh? Aside from hide behind these walls all the time. Let me tell you something. No, that's touch sugar. Three days. It's not allowed to hurt each other. Been here three years. Yeah, you've been three here. days. You're still here, Gally. All right, so what does that tell you? Maybe, maybe you should start doing Hi. things a little differently. Maybe you should be in charge. Hey. It's only been here three days. I thought we'd been here for like two weeks or something. Oh, like you had a choice. Maybe he did. 
Oh, bollocks. That guy's gonna be pissed. Tell us what we've done now. I'll be setting up mad barricades. Oh, you'd be shitting yourself, man. No. I'm going to assume this is where most of them die because I don't remember this being, there being this many, like, in the second film, anyway. Fuck. Yeah, it's where it's going to start picking them off. One by one. Ah! No! Ah, oh, rip. I liked it. He didn't really do much, but... Kill the little bitch. Oh, or not. Hey, she got it. Someone with a bit of sense. I'll give you that one. That was... Whew. I can't get for a little hut made out of twigs. Are you taking the piss? No, 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 no. Are you serious? That'd be why I don't remember him. He literally, literally died. He's not going to be happy, is he? Uh, don't hurt other people. <laughs> oh, you tell a noob. I just don't see the logic of. Gally's logic, like, you're not getting any more food up in the lift. Did you hear me? I said tie him off. You are an idiot, mate. <laughs> Too easy. Oh, the stance. <laughs> Good luck against the Reavers. <laughs> uh, see you later, mate. No odd feelings. <laughs> We got like eight people. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I'm with nine people. Wicked. Great community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My boy. Woo! Someone's. Oh, the, oh, then they got it off then. Get it! Go on, push that little shit off. No! Oh, nice, dude. Oh, God, not. S How is he still on? I'm sorry. He's literally vertical. What's holding him up is shoelaces. Oh, he's dead, he's dead, he's, this guy's dead. Re oh, to be fair, could have landed on the bridge. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, he don't die, does he? I can't remember. I thought he'd been bit. Good man, what a hero. Ha <laughs> ha, shitting himself now. Oh! Oh! That was beautiful. Go! Is that how it ends? No. Oh. Oh, fuck. Wait, how did you get here? Oh, it's been a. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but who did he shoot? Who did he shoot? Did he shoot anyone? Yeah, it's fucking chalk water, isn't it? 
No, dude! I can't even remember that. Oh, dude, come on. Dude, what the fuck? Fuck. I completely forgot that. I thought it ended up with just walking out. Everything's gonna change. Why ended I fucking idiot? Oh, you're so trying to like. <laughs> In the maze one or two, how fucking stupid! I remember when when it came out, everyone slated it for that. All, all the reviews were like, "It ends in such a shitty way." Cause it just like to be fair, it does. It's so blatant. It's just like, ah, in the maze one or two. We better get funded for a sequel. <laughs> so yeah, okay, we get it. Um, the Maze Runner. There we go, guys. That is the Maze Runner. I enjoyed that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching alongside with me. I, I forgot so much about that. Like I forgot that dude died at the end. What the fuck? Because I thought it just ended with them all walking out and being like, "Yeah, sick." And then there was a helicopter for him <laughs> waiting to take him away, but not quite. Um, We'll start with the good stuff that I like about the film. Dylan O'Brien's acting is outstanding. He, everything I've seen him in, he's been great. Uh, he puts everything into it. He didn't, there wasn't one scene where I was like, eh, not great there, Dylan. But every scene, he was amazing. And I'm not there like he's Oscar-worthy actor in, in this film. I think he's an Oscar-worthy actor, like he has the potential to in the future. Uh, I won't say he is in this film, but... I wouldn't say the film's an Oscar worthy in any sense of the imagination, but I mean, like, it's his acting is on point, like, straight up. He, just, he doesn't slack off in any scene. Uh, when he's like the emotional scenes at the end there with Chuck, uh, when it's him like just running through the maze, the action scenes, uh, when he's getting angry and fighting out on the dude who died at the end there. Um, every bit of emotion and every scene he was in was perfect. So he, he was the best thing about the film for sure. Uh, two, I like the premise of it. Like, I like the the first thirty minutes were fantastic. Like, where it was just setting it setting it up, and it was just showing him around the kind of base where they live. And I loved that area. Like, I loved, like I said at the start of the film, that I I do like the score. I seem to remember liking the Scorch Trials, and that's more fresh in my mind because that was only this was I saw this five years ago. Scorch Trials, I think, was three years ago or something like that, or two and a half or something. So that was obviously more fresh in my mind. But I. I remember from the Scorch Trials, what I missed about it was the maze and like the, the land they were kind of like living in, uh, that kind of, all of them working together and I loved that about it. Um, so yeah, I did miss that and I liked it in this film. Uh, the first 30 minutes of them just kind of, or first 45 as well, just where it's kind of learning about the maze and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I really liked that about it. Three as well, the maze itself when it's like kind of didn't O'Brien going through it. Uh, like the grievers and stuff, the whole whenever like walls were closing in or is him like being about to be squashed, um, then the whole rules of like no one survives the night kind of thing. So that stuff was really good. Um so yeah, I'd say they're like the three things. And I guess some of the side characters, I'd say the side characters are like good and bad at the same time. Like I love Newt because I like cause I'm not, I think that's his name. I don't, I think they only said like once. Um I like that actor anyway, but he was great in it, obviously. Chuck, uh, who died there at the end, he was good. 
and I forgot the guy's name, but the one he went running with, uh, I think he was okay. But then the, some of the side characters were a bit weak in the sense that he had so many of them um, and didn't really concentrate on too many of them. I think the girl character, I forgot her name as well, uh, they didn't really give her much. I think she gets more in the second film, but here they didn't really... She just kind of sent up halfway through the film and then did nothing. Like, she wasn't... I don't think she was really needed. The only thing that was needed is that note to come up saying she's the last one ever kind of thing. Um, and then to be a bit more of the sense of, oh, I know Thomas kind of thing. So I don't think she was needed. And the actual villain of that guy, like, he was annoying, but I could never side with him. I could never... Like, like I say, the best villains are always the ones that you can see their point of view. His point of view was, we've got no more food coming up. So let's all chill here. All four gates are open so the grievers can, grievers can come in whenever they want. Uh, but this is Thomas's fault. And it's like, in a way, yeah, it was Thomas's fault that he'd come up and now it was like going to be the end of it. But it wasn't Thomas's fault. And that guy just annoyed me. So he was a, he was a shitty villain. Um, B was a teenager at the end of the day. He was just a kid. They're all kids. So, yeah, I'd say he was pretty weak. Uh, I, the whole whenever I did like flashbacks and stuff like oh the reason Thomas is here the whole reason behind it was stupid like oh yeah we found the cure and it's in your generation but we need to put you in the maze to find out how your mind works to get the cure that just made no sense to me it just seemed like some bullshit reason like the the, the reasoning behind it and the whole facility flashbacks of Thomas being like oh I need to get in there wasn't that entertaining like the entertaining stuff was in the maze and then like just outside of the maze kind of um chilling in that area so whenever it got to that I wasn't too bothered uh any other weakness I don't know I think yeah I'd, I'd literally say the whole facility stuff and the flashbacks were the weakest part of the film for sure but everything else was pretty on point I can't really the CG was decent um the, the music sometimes was good but then some of the score was just kind of very generic like we'd heard it a million times um so yeah that's pretty much it. I'd give this film... I think, like, on a technical stand, it'd be, like, a 7 out of 10. But just because I enjoyed it so much, I'm going to go the 8 out of 10. Uh, it's just an enjoyable film. I just It's not too long. It doesn't drag anything out. It just gets to the point. Uh, I do think the first half is better than the second half, just because I like the sense of him learning everything, um, like, say, being in the area, and then the second half, obviously, him trying to find a way out and all the grievers attacking them and then them obviously getting to that facility at the end. Uh, and set up. oh yeah and then another negative there's a big setup for film two on to phase two the shut up you might like literally they might as well look into the camera and gonna be like anyway guys we'll see you in the maze runner scotch trials that's gonna be film two coming in a year or two see you then guys thanks peace it might as well have just ended like that because it, that's basically what i said uh, i did like the the emotional scene is really good as well like chuck down at the end there um and then I forgot his name already, but the guy who was the first to enter the maze or whatever, and he died as well. Because there's a lot of characters there, I was like, I can't remember them in Scorch Trials. So, yeah, it's kind of... Everyone else there. There's, there was two characters I can't remember in the Scorch Trials who were in the helicopter there at the end. And they're just kind of the two side characters. But, yeah, I'm going to I'd give this film an 8 out of 10. Um, I think technically it's more like a 7 out of 10, but just because I enjoyed it so much and I obviously didn't know Brian, I'd go the 8 out of 10. Uh, thanks for watching the film reaction. I'll put up a poll for the next films i'm going to leave scorch trials out of the next film and we'll watch something else and then we'll go into scorch trials then do a different film and then we'll do the death cure um because i'm sure if i just put scorch trials into the poll everyone's going to vote that anyway but don't worry i will obviously watch the entire trilogy trilogy uh so yeah we'll, we'll watch something different in the in two weeks or whatever it might be and then we'll jump into the scorch trials for sure unless you guys want the scorch trials in two weeks i'll put it in the poll and we'll just kind of see what you guys go for um but don't either way either way i'll be doing the entire trilogy so don't worry too much about that but yeah let me know what you thought of the film down below what you like about the film what you if there are any negatives for you i know a lot of people this is a, the perfect film which is fine um i do think as far as sense of like those teenage based on book to film goes uh even though i haven't read the books but i'm just going on i have enjoyment enjoyment level i do think this is one of the better ones the first maze runner and then I'd say the first Hunger Games, all the diversions, shit, I've seen two, I've only seen two of those, but the third one I've heard was terrible as well, so whatever. Um, but the first Hunger Games, the second Hunger Games, and I think this Maze Runner 
are three of the best. And we'll put Harry Potter, Harry Potter White up there, obviously, in Lord of the Rings and all that. But, like, yeah, um, there we go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Uh, until then, peace.